that's where his way it falls down. Well, I haven't seen it, but I talked to somebody who knows that it exists, right? And I think maybe it's because we're human, we're programmed to actually want physical evidence, yeah. right? We want to actually see it before we believe it. Um, but, you know, that, that really hasn't happened yet. What's one of the things that's fascinating is the narrative has shifted so wildly from it's completely preposterous to credible people like David Fravor and Ryan Graves and all these different people that are talking about multiple sightings, things that completely defy our understanding of what a vehicle is capable of doing, hovering yeah. completely motionless in 120 knot winds, uh, all the, the whole, you know, whatever that thing is, the, the cube inside a sphere that they keep yeah. seeing over and over again. Right. Like Almost the, hit one of the aircraft. Yeah. You know, and, and, what the yeah. fuck is that? Yeah. And then they land. So I think, you know, one of the good developments out of all of this, and one of the things that may eventually lead to transparency, right, because it will... It will provide an avenue for these sightings, whether it's commercial or military pilots, as an example, to report it, right? And to be more, and, and, and for the government to take it, perhaps, you know, again, it depends on whether, <laughs> whether it's a big conspiracy or not, to, um, to investigate in a, in, a, in a more logical manner and in, in a more detailed manner. So I, I think just, again, the sheer act that we're talking about it. Which then takes me back to the idea that, you know, if you're running a secret program, you don't want people talking about it. So you're not going to muddy the waters with a false narrative if you don't have to. Right. You know, if your concern is that someone's getting close to the truth and you got to do it, okay, then maybe so. But, um, you know. Do you think it's also possible that there are patriots that do think that the American public deserves to know about this information and they have been sitting on it for a long time? Um. That people like yeah. David Grush and all these various people that are coming out and more apparently are wanting to come out. But. Yeah. Well, interesting thing with Grush is, look, he's, he said so during the hearing, right? He said, I can't talk about that. I could talk about it in a skiff, right? In, yes. a, in a sensitive, uh, secure uh, environment. All right. Well, if I'm, you know, one of the people on, on that subcommittee, I'm going to say, you know what, uh, to my staff, schedule, uh, you know, a skiff meeting with Grush. Get him in here mm -hmm. and let's, you know, have him talk you know, classified shit. Right. Um, so that would be the next logical step in all of this. Have right? they done that yet? I, I don't know. I mean, it's, you know. It's, when he said, <laughs> uh, I could talk to you about it in a skiff, has, have people taken him up on that? Well, I, I, you know, you'd they, have to, you you'd have to ask him. No, I wouldn't. Right. Know. And they yeah. wouldn't tell anybody. And they wouldn't, anyway. and they wouldn't tell him. And therein lies part of the problem because right. if, if he sits there and, but if he sits in the skiff and, and continues to kind of say, well, I, you know, okay, I'm, I don't, you guys aren't clear to, to hear this and I can't tell. You. All right. right. Then, then you got to start questioning, you know, what he's actually got or what he what he knows for sure rather right. than just having this this you know witness interviews and sort of secondhand information but i am i'm much more i guess the point is i'm much more interested in the direct sightings than uh witness interviews right right and the thing about him is he's not really a witness right he hasn't had any personal encounters with anything Right. He hasn't had personal encounter with a craft he hasn't seen a retrieved craft he hasn't seen the biological entities these are all just programs that he's been made aware of that he felt like people needed to know about. Yeah. And That's the narrative. And, I, and I, again, not to disparage anybody, right? I mean, right. look, he's, you know, if in fact, um, you know, uh, somebody leaked his medical records, which it looks like, you know, did happen, right? Then that's, that, you know, that's, that's pretty bullshit, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to inv <laughs> figure out what the hell is... Hey, let's see there. this. The information from Grush, who said he was unable to discuss specifics on what he told the Pentagon's watchdog arm. Lawmakers want to sit down with the former official in a sensitive compartmented information facility, a skiff, to get additional information from him. The group has been blocked, however, by officials that have informed them that Grush doesn't currently have security clearance to discuss the issues in a skiff, according to Burchett. We think that we'll get there eventually. It's just frustrating. I'm ready to go, and the American public are ready to go, he said. Luna argued that the skiff with Grush could help lawmakers better understand the type of legislation they need to write regarding UAPs. She said she supports legislation that would declassify information on the phenomenon. So there seems to be some issue of secrecy and what, what's possible to discuss or what's legal to discuss. Well, but yeah, look, the, the government casts a very wide net when you're talking about classified information, right? right. Uh, the, the, the government has overclassified information for decades and decades, right? And you've got secret, top secret, you know, code word, you know, um, and, you know, they, they tend to just hoover everything up and classify it, right? And, and then it takes 
fucking forever, right, to go through that process of declassification. And, and because nobody wants to put their neck out at that point and say, yeah, let's declassify this, right, right. Once, it's, once it's in that pot. Um, so, but it, the, the question is, great, you know, you're saying, you know, you can talk about it in the skiff. Well, damn it, then that's the next, that, that's what the subcommittee should be doing. That, that's their job, right, if they're curious, right, and if they're sincere about trying to get to the bottom of this, and that's theoretically their job, then they should, because again, going back to the main thing, and people can say, well, why are you wasting your time on this? But you can always circle back to the top line, which is, it's for national security purposes. We want to know what the hell's going on. Right. And, and you know, if so, yeah, we'll see. I guess that's the, that's the question that should be thrown at, at Grush or should be thrown at the subcommittee members. Is, I'm also shocked <laughs> at how few people care. I feel like people are so overloaded with information today because of social media and because of the news cycle you're just so people are so overloaded with information that this barely registered on people other than ufo nuts yeah yeah i mean there was a there was a surprising amount i thought anyway of of sort of mainstream media coverage it wasn't particularly uh deep right it just kind of covered okay it was a hearing and i think they did it because oh, it's like it's ufos or uaps right mm-hmm. and so you know they knew they'd get some clicks on it if they were putting it online or whatever and and um they didn't pursue it you know like has there been any i haven't seen any stories that talked about the follow-up you right. know, with grush um there were a couple of stories talking about the you know the, the fact that perhaps his medical records were leaked you know as a result and the medical records showed what that he had some sort of a psychiatric condition um, that he had an event or something like that? PTSD, uh, I think, he, you know, some suicidal depression issues. Standard I think. stuff with military veterans. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had been, he had done his time in Afghanistan, yeah. right? And so um, that doesn't, yeah, it means nothing, and, uh, means except nothing. for the fact that it shouldn't be out there, right? right? Those records should be damn well private. Well, not but, only that.